Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marley. You're watching Marley's Inspiration. I, play your ha I pray you're having a, a blessed day. Y'all, I cannot talk today. I don't know why. But um, I wanted to go ahead and get this word up so that you could have time to watch it and then pray on it. As always, I tell you, pray. Take it to God. Ask Him to reveal to you what he is revealing to you in this hour so first we are going to start off with a little prayer and this is just a series of scriptures that god has given me that it, it really strengthens me and i know it's going to strengthen you so i'm going to go ahead and read this and this is going to be something i do on every video so i can give you encouragement and i can give you the scriptures that you need to be able to make it through whatever it is that you are going through. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as has a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him, delivers him out of them all. Truly, my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. I called on the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. Listen. I will not fear what man can do to me. Now we are going to have a time of prayer. And then I'm going to get into the drink. Father God, Lord Jesus, we come humbly before you, Lord. And Lord, I pray that you will open their ears, open their eyes, so that they can receive this that I'm about to give them that you have shown me, Lord. I pray that you will give them understanding, that you will give them discernment to be able to tell the false from the real. Lord, I pray that you will surround them with your presence, that your power will flow freely through these airwaves, Lord. And I pray that you will protect this video, keep it from all censorship, hide it from any algorithms that is going to possibly trigger this um, censorship over my channel, Lord, and I give you this channel, and I thank you, Lord, for everything that you do for me and everyone watching each and every day, Lord. We give you praise, glory, and honor, and Lord, I pray that only truth flow forth from my lips. I pray that you will be with me and that you will give me the words to say, that you will give me wisdom and what to say and what not to say, Lord, and I praise your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. And if there's any that is sick among us, Lord, that is watching this video, Lord, I pray that you will reach down and touch them and heal them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Father, I also pray for those who may be backslidden, Lord, that they begin to feel your drawing to draw them back to you, Lord. And I pray for those who do not know you, Lord. I pray that they will begin to feel a hunger like they never have before and that your spirit will flow freely through these airwaves. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to read this because I want to make sure that I don't change anything. Because I want to get it exactly how it was shown to me. Okay, I had this dream. Sorry. Sorry. I had this dream Friday night into Saturday morning. In the dream, which was a series of three dreams, in the first dream, I saw the rapture. I was outside, and as I was looking up, I saw Jesus in the sky. I did not see his face. I never see his face. That's one thing I make clear. I never see his face. But I felt suddenly I was being pulled up. It felt so real. It felt like I was being... in. It felt like be like I was being like my spirit was being pulled out of my body. The next thing you know, I'm floating through the air. I'm constantly being drawn through the air. Jesus was leading me. All of a sudden, I go into another dream. 
In this dream, I was standing in line in front of the most luxurious plane I've ever seen in my entire life. I've never been on an airplane. Now, y'all, let me describe this airplane because I've never seen anything like it. This airplane, let me tell you, it was the most luxurious plane I've ever seen in all my life. Like, it was absolutely beautiful on the inside. I was waiting in line, my turn, I was waiting in line on my turn to board the plane. As I was waiting in line, I went into another dream. And this dream will get you big time, so listen closely to this dream. In this dream, it had snowed. The snow was so rare in this area, and the amount was so rare in this area that I was walking around looking in amazement at the fact that it had snowed in this particular area as much as it did. It felt like I was walking on a cloud. Whoops. It felt like I was walking on a cloud. So as I continue walking, admiring the snow, and keep in mind this area had never had that much snow before. As I was walking, admiring the snow, I suddenly see a giant map in front of me. And this was a map of the entire southern states of the U.S. from California over to Florida. I saw all the way down to the Mexico border in Texas was covered in snow. I saw Miami covered in snow. I saw Southern California covered in snow. So after I got done looking at this map, I keep walking. I walk on what looks like a hill, like it literally looked like this in my dream. It felt like I was walking on a cloud. As I'm walking up, this noise, like this noise started happening, but it was really, really, really loud. And I was like, what is that? And I kept walking. And then suddenly I see a black snake come out from under what looked like a hiding place under the hill. The hill was like this, but it was covered in snow that I just stepped on. Now, when I tell you, I, I, let me tell you something. I can still see this snake in my head. I'm telling you, I still see it. It feels like I'm still in the dream. Now, when I tell you I can still see the snake, I can still see the snake in my mind. The snake, I knew in my mind, I knew in my dream, the snake was a viper. I've never seen a viper snake in all my life. But in my dream, somehow I know it was a viper snake. The snake had fangs that were like this. It was about like that long. And they were white as snow. <clears throat> as soon as the snake come out, I screamed and laid down pretending to be dead. I knew as long as I did not pick up the snake and put it in my hand that I will be protected. The snake, let me set that up because I want to finish reading. The snake, I know where they may, if I try to pick it up, it will go right here, right here. Oh, my nails are dirty. Right here. That is where it will try to bite me in the dream. I knew it will try to bite me right there in that area. Okay. Okay. Okay, where'd it go? Okay. This snake, I know where they may, if I try to pick it up, it will go from my right hand between my thumb and my index finger is where it wanted to bite me. I know as soon as I was bit, I would die. So I just lay down on the ground like I told you and pretended like I was dead. The snake came and lay next to me. Never touched me, never harmed me. And I woke up. When I woke up, I sought the Lord and prayed and asked for clarification and understanding about this dream. A lot of you are going to disagree 
with what I'm about to tell you, but I'm telling you exactly what God showed me. The first dream I saw, I saw the rapture. The second dream, the plane is getting ready to board. Get your ticket while you still time, have time. I have my ticket. I'm on my way to heaven. When he calls us off this earth, God showed me that. The final dream, it will snow in places where it does not normally snow. And it will be great amounts of snow. The enemy is hiding in plain sight with the situation we are currently in now. Many have called the, the mark of the beast. It is not the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast will not be revealed until the church is off the earth. But I did see the mark of the beast. I did see what it looked like. I did see what it's going to be. It has to do with a patch that will go on your right hand. Once it touches your skin, that's it. It's in your body. You cannot get rid of it and it will cause you to die. There is such thing as a vapor, as a viper patch. That viper patch is the mark of the beast because it will be like a snake bite. When you have it on your hands, it goes on your right hand between your thumb and your index finger. Now, I know many are going to disagree with what I'm sharing with you, but I'm prepared for that. I'm just sharing with you what God showed me because I sought God. You hear me? I sought God. And I prayed and I asked for clarification and I asked for the interpretation and I waited on God. I waited on Him and He showed me exactly what that dream meant or those dreams. I sought, the, I sought God and asked him, Lord, show me the truth. And he did in a series of three dreams. He showed me the rapture comes before the mark. He also showed me the plane is getting ready to board. Get your ticket while you still can. The enemy is hiding in plain sight. You have to seek God for discernment to understand what I'm talking about. Now, I've had people tell me, are you the only one? that God talks to. No, I'm not the only one. But I do seek him daily for understanding. I do not lean on my own understanding. I lean on the understanding God gives me. And he will give it to you too. All you have to do is spend time with him. And if you're wondering what this is, it's a prayer shawl. I'm pretty sure you're looking at this wondering what it is. It's a prayer shawl. And I like to wear it whenever I'm reading my dreams. I just, you know, felt led that I needed to start wearing this. So, from now on, when I'm reading a dream, I'm going to wear this. Okay. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Let's see, where was I? <clears throat> he will give it to you too. Please seek God for understanding and he will give it to you. This dream, like I said, I still see the snake in my head. I still see it. But the enemy is hiding in plain sight, and most of you cannot even tell what is actually happening. When I screamed and I laid down and pretended to be dead, this is the part I saved for last because I want you to understand what I'm trying to tell you. Do you know why I screamed and laid down as dead? And let me tell you, that snake came and laid next to me and did not harm me, did not touch me. As long as I did not take that snake in my hand, I was protected. I did that because God showed me that people are taking this certain situation because they are fearful. God said, do not fear. Do not fear. God is protecting us. We do not need what they are trying to give us. God is exposing the truth about this situation, but you have to have discernment to be able to see it. Now, this is going to be a long video because I want to talk to you. When God showed me that, when he showed me a series of three dreams, it's because I sought him. 
I sought him. I was like, Lord, so many are saying this. So many are saying this. So many are saying this. And I don't just listen to anybody. I go before God in prayer and I ask him for understanding. I ask him for clarification. I ask him, I seek him daily. I seek his face daily. You hear me? You have to in this hour. If you don't, if you don't, you will be deceived. You need to spend time in his presence because in his presence is where we gain understanding, clarification. It's where he reveals things to us and it's where we spend our intimate time with him. How are you going to get strength if you don't go to the source of your battery? If your battery is dying, what's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to take your charger, you're going to plug it in, and you're going to seek to make your device have battery life again. Well, it's the same way in the Christian walk. Listen to me. You have got to plug in daily. Daily. You have got to plug in daily to your source of power and that is the holy spirit that is god you have got to get in prayer and you have got to stay in prayer especially in this time where we are in the middle of deception what you see with your eyes is not what is actually happening what you see with your eyes is not what is actually happening remember that now, I leave you with these words. God loves you. If you are backslidden, I pray that you come home before it's too late. Because you don't want to wait. We are in a window of grace right now. We are in a window. But let me tell you something. The plane is getting ready to board. Do you have your ticket? Do you have your ticket? That is my question. The rapture is at the door. Do you have your ticket? I love you all. I pray this video blesses you. I'm sorry that it's an 18 minute video, but I had to say what I needed to say. Seek God for discernment, understanding, clarification, strength, and peace and I promise you he will reveal things to you that you never thought he would reveal to you if only you spend time with him in prayer step off the dry ground get into the water tomorrow I will be putting up a video because God has put place that on my heart about stepping off dry ground into the water what it truly means and how you can improve your prayer life with Jesus. I love you all. I pray this video blesses you. Please remember, no matter what, no matter what you see with your eyes, don't allow fear to set in. God is in charge. God is on the throne. God is the great I am. He is our alpha. He is the Omega. He is the beginning. He is the end. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is Jehovah Nisi. Jesus loves you. I love you. Stay under the shield of his protection, especially in this hour, for the deception is great all across the earth. The darkness is great all across the earth. But ye are the light of the world. Keep your lamp full of oil. Don't be like the foolish virgins. Be ready at all times. Keep looking up. Our redemption draws near, nearer than when we first believed. Jesus loves you. But you don't have that much time left. If you do not know him, now is the time to turn your life over to him. Don't wait. We are not promised tomorrow.